He is known for his contributions to the field of linguistics, specifically in the domain of phonology. He is recognized for defining the concept of the phoneme and establishing phonology as a separate discipline from phonetics. His name is Nikolai Trebetskoy. In the field of linguistics, one name stands out, Nikolai Trebetskoy. Born into a privileged background, his father came from a princely family in Lithuania. Trebetskoy's journey into the realm of linguistics began when he enrolled at Moscow University in 1908. His quest for knowledge led him to the University of Leipzig, where he studied under the guidance of August Leskian, a pioneer in the study of sound laws. After graduating from Moscow University, Trebetskoy began delivering lectures there until the Russian Revolution. Seeking new opportunities, he moved to different universities, including Rostov-on-Don and Sofia. Eventually, he became the professor of Slavic philology at the University of Vienna. Trebetskoy's contributions to linguistics were immense, particularly in the field of phonology. His groundbreaking work, Grunge Phonology, defined the concept of the phoneme and established phonology as a separate discipline from phonetics. But Trebetskoy's legacy extended beyond linguistics. He was also a literary critic, analyzing Russian literature from the ancient epic, The Tale of Igor's Campaign, to the works of Dostoevsky. Interestingly, Trebetskoy's views on linguistics often overlapped with those of his friend, Roman Jacobson, who played a significant role in spreading the Prague School views on phonology after Trebetskoy's untimely death. Unfortunately, his life was cut short due to Nazi persecution, as he suffered a heart attack attributed to his critical article on Hitler's theories. Nikolai Trebetskoy's contributions to linguistics and his passion for understanding the structure of languages have left an indelible mark on the field. His work on phonological systems and the establishment of phonology as a distinct discipline continue to shape linguistic studies today. Trebetskoy's legacy serves as a reminder of the valuable insights and discoveries that can arise from the exploration of language and literature. Nikolai Trebetskoy, born into privilege, was destined for greatness. With a father hailing from a powerful princely family, Trebetskoy had all the tools to make his mark on the world. He began his educational journey at Moscow University in 1908, where he would develop a passion for linguistics. During his time at the University of Leipzig, Trebetskoy had the opportunity to learn from one of the pioneers of sound laws, August Leskian. This experience would shape his future contributions to the field of linguistics, particularly in the domain of phonology. After graduating from Moscow University, Trebetskoy took up a position as a lecturer. However, his career would be disrupted by the Russian Revolution, which forced him to move from one university to another. He found himself at the University of Rostov-on-Don, then at the University of Sofia, before finally settling at the University of Vienna as the professor of Slavic philology. Trebetskoy's brilliance extended beyond academia. He became an influential figure in the Eurasianist movement, offering his intellectual insights and serving as a political leader. However, when some of the movement's leaders embraced Soviet ideology, Trebetskoy, a staunch anti-communist, strongly criticized them and eventually distanced himself from the movement. Tragically, Trebetskoy's life was cut short by a heart attack, attributed to the pressures of Nazi persecution. His outspoken criticisms of Hitler's theories made him a target. Yet, even in his shortened life, Trebetskoy made profound contributions to linguistics. In his posthumously published magnum opus, Grunzuchter Phonology, he defined the concept of the phoneme as the smallest distinctive unit in language, revolutionizing the field of phonology and establishing it as a separate discipline from phonetics. In addition to his linguistic pursuits, Trebetskoy also showcased his talents as a literary critic. His collection of translated articles, aptly titled, Writings on Literature, showcased his analytical skills as he delved into the depths of Russian literature, from the ancient epic, the tale of Igor's campaign, to the masterpieces of 19th century poetry and the works of Dostoevsky. Nikolai Trebetskoy left an indelible mark on the world of linguistics and literature. While his views sometimes intertwined with his close friend Roman Jacobson's, it would be Trebetskoy's expertise and groundbreaking ideas that would solidify his place in history as a true intellectual giant. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.